Oh, <laughs> good morning. How is everyone today? Today's Tuesday, the 14th of January, 2020, a new decade. Um, today's affirmation, I lovingly take care of my body, my mind, and my emotions. In case I forgot this week, um, Heal Your Body by Louise Hay. She has a whole list of affirmations and we're just working through them. Um, I lovingly take care of my body, my mind, and my emotions. Um, this is a hard one for a lot of people because there's a certain culture in our society that says that you're not really taking care of yourself if you're not taking care of someone else. And there's a balance in all of that. And we've lost that balance somewhere along the way. Um, 12, 13 generations ago, maybe more, maybe 20, 25 generations ago. Um, we didn't have mass media. We didn't have the industrial revolution yet. And so there was a pace that went to things. And when you live within a community, it is a symbiotic relationship. You know, you, you have the cranky old, the old guy who sits near the well and tells stories. Um, you have bards and farmers and wives and shopkeepers and you know you have all of all of what we have now it's just now we have everything at such a pace that we forget to pause and take care of ourselves so that we can take care of other people it's not a narcissistic self-serving affirmation it's an affirmation of peace finding your inner peace finding your place of peace so that you can help someone else. And this is both with the food that you put in your body, it's with the exercise that you get, getting outside, connecting to Mother Earth, really connecting to your ecosystem. Um, and then it's being mindful of how you do things and the timing in which you do things. Um, and really being in that place of peace that protects you and give, leaves you open to help other people and not leave not leaving you open to become a victim in a circumstance so there's layers within this it's not just here is the little blue pill that makes it all better or here's the red pill I send you to a different place. It, this, our world is not the matrix. <laughs> or it's not exactly like the matrix. I should rephrase that. Um, there's an existential conversation in that. <laughs> um, I lovingly take care of my body, my mind, and my emotions. So I remember years ago when the body, mind, spirit thing came out. Somebody had coined that. And it was the big... Uh, dead ringer wording for things body mind soul body mind soul body mind soul um and i remember when i heard it i was like isn't that a no-brainer i thought everybody knew that <laughs> but not that i was any further ahead or behind anyone else it's that my perceptions are slightly different and i feel like it's been something i've always known that you have to take care of your your body, you have to take care of your spirit and you have to manage your emotions to be able to function with people. Now, I will to give you, give you that I'm pretty sure my papa was pretty instrumental and my grandmother was pretty instrumental in making all of that make sense to me um, from a very, very early age. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I could, I could go on on that. I lovingly take care of my body, my mind, my emotions. So when you take care of your body, that is the seat of where your soul sits in this life. Okay. My mind, uh, your mind is very important. A healthy mind, 
a balanced mind, a mind that has found its peace, um, is nurtured and nourished by the food that you take in your body. So you put junk in, your brain isn't going to work as well. Um, and your emotions are, from, from the biofield tuning perspective or the energy work perspective, your emotions are not actually here. They're out in your field. They're out in your torsion field. So anytime you encounter a new emotion, um, it works his way out in, in the field. Kind of like wavelengths, electrical wavelengths. That would be probably a good way to describe it. And when you encounter those emotions again, you know, 20 years later, there are visceral responses that happen because those emotions were triggered during a physical activity or a smell, a sound, a taste. There's the, that's why those things get brought back. That's also why there are some people that um, really struggle with those emotions because they're electrical energy. Um, anyway, so to that's today's affirmation. Go out about your day. Hopefully this affirmation will help you. Um, and I will see you tomorrow in daily devotions. Have a blessed day. And I'll see you tomorrow in prayer.